Excuse us. Pardon me, ma'am. Sorry, sorry. Move it, asshole. Oh, thank God. We got good seats. Damn right we did. So, we got the drink. We got the popcorn. And the candy. I think we're ready, man. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. The bathroom here is nuts. Oh, my God, you made it. Yeah. It's about time, Nathan. Damn. Shh. The movie's starting. In the grand calculus of the multiverse, this podcast doesn't matter. I am a variant of Mally Moore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm Nathan Simmons, and it's going to take more than killing me to kill me. And I'm Dustin. I got nothing special to say that today on this episode. And this is very fun. The Silver Linings <laughs> Playlist. <laughs> Uh, the podcast where everything is made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> Much like this movie, lots of stuff made up, nothing matters. Whose multiverse is it anyway? Well, this is the one where you're still alive, because mm-hmm. welcome back. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> From beyond the grave. Oh, he's zombie Mally. Oh, no. Yeah, Mally's dreamwalking into this episode. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I get a demon, Kate? <laughs> anyway, this is the Silver Linings Playlist. As I mentioned, uh, guys... We're we're done with spooky linings. Yeah. Unfortunately. But are we though? I mean, this movie mm-hmm. kind of spooky. Yeah. Kind of spooky. I'm glad we're keeping it rolling. So well, without further ado, we do have a guest on the episode, so it's time to introduce him. You last heard him on the podcast we did on The Matrix Reloaded, where he had a lot of, a lot to say mm-hmm. about that <laughs> franchise. And I think he's gonna have a lot to say about this one too. So let's welcome back returning guest, Mr. John Hauser. Yeah. Hello. Ayo. Who the fuck is John? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the. You remember the Burger King uh, kids uh, or whatever that was? <laughs> I'm the lone lost. Like I'm that guy. Yeah, garbage pail kids. Uh, something that has escaped my memory until just now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very fitting that you're returning this week because mm-hmm. this is your pick, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's going to show up for the ones I choose. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's not even a joke at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I picked it. Don't know why. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, okay. Fair enough. Well, I think we'll all have plenty of say. Yeah. Uh, pl- plenty to say to round out a full episode. We'll all here. have plenty of say. I will. I will have plenty of say on this episode because I'm the one who edits it. Um <laughs> So, Doctor Strange yeah. 2. Multiversal Boogaloo. <laughs> Multiversal. Man, could you imagine if canon made this movie? Holy shit. It, it's, oh. it's, it's, got, it's got some good. It's yeah. got some bad. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm squarely in the middle on this one. In fact, this was one of the movies where I think Mally and I texted extensively as soon as I got out of the theater. Oh, 100%. He was like, so, like, we, we need to, I need to know everything you think about this. <laughs> what did you think about this part? Does this make any sense to you? And I don't even like Nathan. No, and let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> let's be clear very clear here but i i uh yeah this is a movie that i think I, I fall squarely in the middle on because i there's stuff here that i really love as a fan of dr strange mm-hmm. and there's a stuff there's a lot of stuff here that bums me out about the state of the mcu oh uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah i see, think there's a lot of here that i like because i like sam raimi oh yeah for sure yeah. that's about it honestly i think i'm yeah i'm the same way like i feel like i'm i'm biased a little bit when it comes to this mm-hmm. it's like i do like this movie like mm-hmm. and then like if, if we're being for me like out of the phases well like um in this phase this is you got like this and like maybe like a another handful of films like out of the MCU that that are like better than mm-hmm. like Doctor Strange is better than Shang Chi and like that kind of shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like sure. that's Whoa. that's where I'm getting at. <laughs> Whoa! I, I I think this movie has finally captured the feeling that people who don't read comic books get when they try to get into comic books. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it is. Like, I was talking to past and future guest Ashley about this, and she was like, I saw Doctor Strange in the theaters and liked Wait, it. Was, was was Ashley the Doritos girl? Yes. yes. Cool. <laughs> Got it. As she now will be uh, henceforth known as. <laughs> Forever known. No, she was she and she's not like a big superhero person, but she loved Doctor Strange when she saw it in the theater. And then she said, and you're telling me that I can't really follow Doctor Strange 2 if I don't watch a full miniseries and like yep. four other movies. Yeah. Well, I will say I don't, I, on this, you, don't, you don't need WandaVision. Yeah, I was going to say, on the, on the rewatch I do think they do enough in terms of explaining, like, mm-hmm. and just throw away lines, like, oh yeah, she had kids and now they're taken away from her. Like, sure. They do enough of that, but yeah, in order to fully appreciate, because the last, if you just watch the movies, the last you see of Wanda before this is in game, right? Yeah. yeah. And suddenly she's a villain. Like it just it's it it is getting to the point cuz I've only seen of those MCU shows. I've seen 
uh, WandaVision uh-huh. and Moon Knight. Gotcha. And I, I just... I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm out. I can't keep up on all of it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. And that's no, fine. I, no, I get you. I get you. I haven't even watched like Miss Marvel yet. Like, yeah. it's fun. I like it a lot. It is a lot of fun. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I. I don't. I don't sweat those people that that watch it enjoy it. That is. I'm very happy for you guys. But mm-hmm. I'm just here for the movies at this point. Like, even if. Uh, for whatever reason, WandaVision got a second season. I don't think I'd watch it. I would just... And that's on the movies then. If mm-hmm. the movies, you have to see the TV shows to understand it, that's when I'm really out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I... And I, you know, I have a comics podcast and I still am like, you know, I, I'm trying to keep up with eight X-Men books every month. I'm mm-hmm. trying to keep up with what's going on in every Spider-Man crossover. And it's starting to feel like that's what the movies are becoming. As much yeah. as I enjoy them, I'm still in the bag for the MCU. But it's it's getting harder and harder to be a casual fan. Yeah. Well, it's, especially when you open up this whole idea of a multiverse. Sure. Because there's a huge chunk of this movie mm-hmm. that I fucking hate. <laughs> and it's for that reason like it opens up too much yeah. you're doing too much the multiverse is a fascinating storytelling device the problem is it's just used as a uh, as a cameo machine yeah. <laughs> yep so far and and that's the section of this movie i do not like yeah uh that it's I, uh, we were talking about this off there earlier. It just feels like Kevin Feige's taking a spoon and just force feeding me <laughs> fucking John Krasinski yeah. as Reed Richards. Like it's fine for like a one off joke. Like that's you a- said you wanted this Reddit. <laughs> well, see, that, I took it as that. Whenever he showed up, I was like, oh wow, they really actually did it. Like I didn't, I didn't <laughs> sure. think that they were actually going to commit. And then he shows up, and I'm like. Okay, well, and then everyone was like, oh, is, well, does that mean he's going to be like officially cast? Nope. Right. And it's like, well, no, it doesn't mean that. There, That was clearly like a fan thing. He like, was barely cast in this one because you can tell he's photoshopped into the movie. <laughs> all, yeah. all of the all Illuminati of yes. are, were not, act, none of them were actually on set together at any point. Yeah. 100%. If the news is to believe it was supposed to be Robert Downey Jr., as Tony Stark. Nope. In another- that is 100% false. Oh. I can promise you. Fair enough. Well, news. Hey, you know what? That's why the internet exists. You can't prove it real time. Um, so, so is the, so is the Tom Cruise bit. Right. The Tom Cruise thing, I don't care. Yeah, I don't want that. I like to know what that day was on set whenever John was there to film, the, you know, those scenes and it stuff. It was him on a green screen by himself. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. But like, imagine just the, the secrecy of it, like yeah. the security and like just going through like all the, the like all of the, imagine that closed set basically. It's right. just like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's how, that's how a lot of this shit oh, yeah. for these movies is filmed now. Yeah. Well, that's why, like, I remember when people were coming down on Gwyneth Paltrow for not realizing which movies she's in and it's like, cause she shot by her herself yeah. and then was pasted <laughs> in as rescue in the in end game you know yeah. and how can you keep up with all of this honestly at this sure, point we're right. talking about two dozen movies a dozen tv shows it's impossible <laughs> to keep up with. like if, even if you're there Go- going back to dustin's uh issue with the multiverse i know you didn't watch loki but mm-hmm. for those of us who did mm-hmm. loki did it's legwork of like setting up the multiverse yeah. so well mm-hmm. yeah. that this movie following that was kind of a letdown with its multiverse shenanigans. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. like Loki built it up like, oh, this is going to be some cool shit. Then this movie's just like, oh, it's the multiverse of madness where we actually only go to one, one universe. Can I, I, I was just about to ask. And, and the what, traffic lights are different. <laughs> I was just about to ask, uh, how many universes do you need in order to qualify as a multiverse? Is it two plus? Is it four? Because I count three. I, I think it's infinite. <laughs> well, as a multiverse only two but a multiverse of madness True. i'm gonna need more than two which yes, yes <laughs> technically i think we see like four yeah. they got stuck on that name yeah it, like i'm not i'm not counting the montage yeah, where yeah. they go through although i love that little 20 seconds it's hilarious yeah. it's pretty cool but like so we got the main mcu we got the illuminati one. Oh god we got sinister, sinister strange, strange yeah. and then is that it? Uh, we get we see America's universe for like three oh, seconds at the very beginning, technically, I guess. Oh yeah, Defender Strange. Yeah. yeah so four. Ugh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, this is this is Jesus Christ. You guys saw this in the theater, yes? Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw this opening day. <laughs> God, I did not. <laughs> and I can just imagine the nerd heart attacks that this movie was given with all the fucking cameos and the multiverse stuff. Like it's so much. <laughs> My theater was dead silent 
<laughs> that's even better like not even kidding <laughs> that's even funnier yeah my theater was too yeah i didn't have a good like audience my theater was was pretty quiet mine mine was re- the hype was relative yeah. yeah i i did hear a huh yeah <laughs> when uh krasinski teleported in. <laughs> yeah i heard a lot of oh <laughs> like <laughs> wasn't this movie supposed to come out before no way home it was yeah, yeah. originally yes um because um, uh, america was supposed to be she was in the early drafts of no mm, way home yeah god also again as someone who does not read comics the name america chavez jesus christ <laughs> you guys i counted do you guys want to take uh, over under how many times they say the word America in this movie? Because it's quite it's quite a lot. It's the name of one of the characters, so yeah. I'm assuming a, a, a lot. I know, but it was just like, but it's it's introduced. She's introduced to this movie. She might as well be called America McGuffin. Like sure. America McGuffin. I know exactly <laughs> as much about this character at the beginning of the movie as I do at the end. I know nothing about it, which is a bummer because I also love this character in the comics. <laughs> same, same. I, I know she's. She she's got this one power uh-huh. and she's afraid of bees. That's all I know. <laughs> so she, she's one half Nick Cage of the Wicker Man at at best. Oh like, my god, that's all I know. No, I, and, and I I do love this character, but it is it is jarring to hear Doctor Strange say lines like "We have to protect America." Oh my god, there's a couple <laughs> lines I wrote down where I'm like, dude, you're saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, you got some redneck sitting there like, hell yeah, we got yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I don't want to get uh, too into the weeds of the movie. Get that Captain Carter out of here <laughs> until uh, until we break it down. Not but my captain. Yeah, <laughs> this movie's kind of like that movie from two thousand one with Jet Li called The One. Yeah. Have you guys seen that movie? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, oh, The Matrix. Hey, stay away from that movie. Do not talk <laughs> shit about that movie. Watch your mouth when you're talking about that movie. Watch your mouth when you're talking about that classic. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, right, we'll do. Fair enough. <laughs> Moving on. I'm just saying. Well, let's 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 talk about this movie a little bit longer. Sure. If you will indulge me. <laughs> Is that the longest it's ever taken us to get to the opening reel? It's up there. <laughs> it's quite a bit. It's quite a <laughs> so bit. So the one was directed by James Wong. <laughs> yeah. Well, you beat me to the punch because I was going to say the year is 2001. The cast is called the <laughs> Gugino, Delroy Lindo. No. Uh, the year is this year, which... Doesn't feel right because this movie feels like it's a little bit older than that, but it's 2022. This movie came out five months ago. Oh, well, as we're recording, Jesus isn't that insane? Christ. That is nuts, huh? Um, the director is one beloved Sam Raimi, returning to the comic book world and his first official entry into the MCU here. His first film in 13 years. And, uh, can you do you remember what his last movie was? Oz the Great and Powerful. Yes. Yep. <laughs> what a return to form, at least for. For one fourth of this movie. Wow, I forgot he did that. <laughs> we all tried to. We- <laughs> I completely forgot about mm-hmm. that. Wow. <laughs> we apologize for reminding you. <laughs> the movie stars. The movie stars Mila Kunis. <laughs> and one problematic gentleman. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, Chueto Ledger for Benedict Wong. Oh, I can't believe you got that one right. I got it. But you know what? The next <laughs> name. I was about to say, what did you call me? <laughs> the next name gave me some trouble, but it's so chill, Gomez. Uh, Rachel McAdams, Michael Stolberg, Julian Hilliard, and Jet Klein. The movie had a budget of $200 million uh-huh. and came close to crossing that Billy mark, but it made $954 million worldwide. Mm-hmm. I have to assume it probably would have done a little bit better if it could have been released in uh, a couple of countries overseas that, of course, following suit, banned it because of that, I don't know, 12-second scene mm-hmm. with the two moms that America has. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just ban the whole movie. Insane. And it currently sits at a, I think, probably accurate 74% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the one deserves a little bit better than that, but yeah. you know, it's, it, it's what it is. I mean, again, say what you will about this movie. The casting of Benedict come in his own hand as <laughs> Doctor Strange <laughs> is fantastic. Well, yeah. you know what? He's got he's got those gray streaks on the side now. That's just where he's just been like styling his hair. That's right. Something about Mary's style. <laughs> also, Michael Stuhlbarg's agent deserves a raise he gets like the <laughs> with credit in the opening credits oh yeah he really yes and he gets to sh- oh i miss that he gets to show up for three seconds dressed like christopher nolan and <laughs> like, with with chris 
uh, Chris Pine's hair from the Don't Worry Darling premiere. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, guys, I'll be honest, I completely forgot who he was. I don't remember a fucking thing about Dr. Strange 1. You don't remember Nicodemus West? I can't believe I, it. I, I'm sorry to admit. From here. six years ago. <laughs> I truly don't remember anything, and I think it was a hindrance to this movie, obviously, because it's a sequel, but I truly didn't remember much of anything. Strange should have gotten a sequel sooner, because Agreed. it's it's tough to go into a story where we're supposed to still care about the stakes of his relationship with Christine Palmer, mm-hmm. who is barely a character in the first one. Yeah, and, and I felt like, for me anyways, it was like Natalie Portman coming back for Thor Love and Thunder. I was like, sure. oh, they managed to get her back. But then I realized, oh, it's only been one movie. <laughs> right. Right. Like, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. <laughs> like that's not that's not that's not how you start off like after endgame. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's just not what you you were expecting. I like I like that scene though where like he sits down and just straight up calls Doctor Strange on his shit. Yes. No, it's a it's a great scene, but I'm just like he his agent is like a genius. However yeah. he got that like featured credit. Oh, he worked that deal. Yes. I will say it is a good scene and we'll talk about it when we get there. Totally. But I think this movie is built on a foundation of sticks and stones yeah. compared to like what Elizabeth Olsen's character uh, accuses him of, but sure. we'll get there. In the meantime, why don't we uh, revisit the trailer? Yeah. Now, is this the official trailer, or is this the No No Way Home post credits trailer? I don't know. We'll find Copy <laughs> that. I literally Googled Doctor Strange 2 trailer and downloaded to the first one I saw that was official, so we'll find Did out. Did the work. Yep. Kind of. We'll find out. Well, I mean, I see Back It Up Thundercats is definitely in this trailer, so it looks like the real one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Every night, I come in my own hands. (laughs) (laughs) Stairway to heaven. (laughs) Oh, don't put your hand on your face after that. (laughs) I'm guessing this is the full official trailer based on this. Yeah. Yeah. What I had to do. To protect our world. Wongers. <laughs> you opened the doorway between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda. Uh, what do you know about the multiverse? The multi what <laughs> <laughs> That is worst joke in the whole movie. Yep. I was gonna say that is MCU humor to a T. <laughs> You're fucking telling me Doctor Strange has never heard the word Illuminati. <laughs> Fair point. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. A pretty cool little reveal. I wonder who it was. (laughs) (laughs) Would have been cooler if I saw that in the theaters. Dude, you'd be surprised how many people, how many people are like, who the fuck? Like, what the fuck was that? Right. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Mephisto! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, do you remember the WandaVision discourse with is this character Mephisto? Is this oh character my Mephisto? God. The the entitlement of MCU fans is so wild. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like people get angry when it's not something they imagined might be in it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, there's people who are furious that Daredevil hasn't been in every episode of She-Hulk. Yeah. Like, guess what? The show's not called. Oh, one hundred percent. coolest fucking thing this whole franchise has ever done. Yeah. So fucking cool. It's so cool. We'll get there, but I this is like my favorite third act of any Marvel movie in a while. Mm. Yeah. It's up there. It's good. Like the thing about I'm going to just fucking straight up call out yeah, yeah. Uh, the Marvel Studio spoiler subreddit. <laughs> I because I have such close ties to people that work on these movies mm-hmm. and have done some of them myself. Mm-hmm. I love reading <laughs> through that subreddit to yeah. be like, oh yeah, this happens. And I'm just like, no. Dude, I'm telling you, Wolverine shows up at the <laughs> end, man. I'm just saying. My uncle works for MCU. I'll bring in the script tomorrow. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Right. It's it's the movie version of my dad works at Nintendo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Like my brother knows a guy. Well, mm-hmm. and now these assholes are going on to IMDB trivia and talking about things that got changed during shooting that 
didn't actually happen. <laughs> like, it's so wild. Yeah, I, I, I just read one, apparently. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Uh, I got to just stop reading IMDb altogether. It's not even it's not even a credible source of information. Anymore. No, I, IMDb is in no way credible <laughs> <Not> anymore. <laughs> I've been I've been telling you that since season one. <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> it needs it needs to, like the little Wikipedia like references where you could click on it and read the actual fucking. It's amazing that Wikipedia is somehow more credible than the Internet Movie Database. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's right there in the title. Oh, wait, hang on. Speaking of incel redditors, y'all remember the IMDb message boards oh, back oh, in the day? Gosh, I'm so glad those were scrubbed. Woo! Yeah. You want to talk about fan servicey shit? I don't know if you guys were involved at this point, but I remember when that first Saw movie came out, those <laughs> boards were ablaze. <laughs> really? John, you sound like you remember this. Oh, yeah. Dr. Gordon's <laughs> yeah. still alive. Oh, oh yeah. He carterized his wounds on those steamy yeah. pipes, and yeah. God damn it, if that wasn't what that last movie fucking was, which is <laughs> copy exactly paste. exactly what it was. That, whoever the screenwriter is for that last Saw movie d- is a shyster. That wow. dude got paid to do nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Oh, that screenwriter read those message boards and was like screenshot archive mm-hmm, for mm-hmm, later mm-hmm. referencing that yeah and now that the message boards are gone i can't be sued <laughs> yeah exactly. cast in quick exactly. that's so funny it's genius so yeah this movie uh, it tricked me again it tricked me the first time uh-huh. it tricked me this time starting with spanish dialogue i was like oh fuck i got the wrong i got the wrong one up. <laughs> I gotta go change. I'd forgotten it. about that. <laughs> I yeah. sure did. It got me. I was hoping that it just continued like that. DC's watching this in theaters, just like these fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like snapping my fingers at the projectionist. Wrong audio, douche. And then like, oh, three, two lines later. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. No, he's still not talking English. He's saying Vashanti. What yeah, is that? What is this shit? Yeah. Which I gotta say. Because this is one of the fucking things that actually was true. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. the original ending or original opening of Mordo just getting fucking murked by Wanda. Oh, yeah. It was and it was going to be the 616 Mordo, right? Yeah. Like they were just going to tie up the loose ends from the first movie. They were just like, and let's decapitate him in the opening scene. And and off we go. That's silly. Mordo is Chua Toledja for. Yes. Okay. So, guys, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. I no, you're fine. I well, because the, the end of the first Doctor Strange ends with him, like, kind of rebelling and he's going to go steal the powers of other sorcerers. Got and it. then they just never followed up on that ever. Got it. Uh, okay. They, they kind of just sweep it under the rug in a line of dialogue in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, this, oh, yeah, he tried to kill me a few times in my universe. Uh, so this could have been Doctor Strange 3, basically. Essentially, yeah. Like, if they weren't so involved with the Infinity War and all that stuff. Okay. Well, if Scott Derrickson had gotten his way, oh, yeah. Yeah. we would have followed up on that. Yeah, we would have gotten Nightmare as the villain. We would have had, uh, yeah, we would have had, like, more of a direct sequel instead of Doctor Strange being a supporting character in, like, six other movies. <laughs> yeah, he's, um... <laughs> What do they call it? Uh, an, an unaccompanied minor on a flight. He's the one sitting there in the chair with her. Um, I I know this is only because of recency bias, but I just saw um, a couple of days ago the new Hellraiser yeah. on Hulu. And this movie, kind of, I kept seeing parallels, but there's a lot of chained like things like that's this mm. thing's tentacles at the beginning going through him mm-hmm. and then it happens later on in the movie there's just a lot of tentacles and like chain shaped things going through people and i was like man that hell it movie was is- directed by sam <laughs> raimi yeah, like, yeah. right <laughs> i do dig that this movie opens with what would essentially be the final set piece mm-hmm. of another movie mm-hmm. well there's also questions too i have about this final act that i i'm assuming things were changed last minute like mm-hmm. i mean we'll get there when we get there but then shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you back, Bally. Anyway, um, yeah, man, Doctor Strange, you don't say that kind of shit to a bride at uh, her fucking wedding. My next note, boy, this is some incel fucking yeah. behavior here. I'm sorry it couldn't work out between us. Dude, she's in her wedding dress. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> she's just about to take photos. Yeah, like, he has <laughs> moved. They, they cut in the cake, son. Mm-hmm. You know what I love, though? Raimi can't just shoot a wedding, right? Like, he has to, <laughs> like, Doctor Strange looks over, the camera whips over to Christine. She walks down the aisle in a canted angle. Then the camera shoots back over to him. And I'm just like, yeah, he's back, baby. Yeah. It's the parts I love about this movie. Yeah. It's the Sam Raimi stuff. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. But yeah, I couldn't. 
I couldn't believe he said that. He's got some questionable lines in this movie. Yeah. Like when he's talking to America in the in the cafe or whatever, and he's like, "Last night you were in my dreams." I'm like, mm, "Dude, you shouldn't say that kind of thing to an underage girl." <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh, let's ramp up to that. Yeah, like maybe maybe give some more context. Yeah, can we get a take two on that? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, um, I also this movie submitted for me, and it's not. Probably that much of a hot take, but I think mm. Wong is a better Doctor Strange than Doctor Strange. God, is. I love like, Wong. I think, I think Wong, how does Wong not have his own? They're giving everybody else a series but Wong. That's crazy. I would watch a Wong series. Because they're putting Wong in every other series, and it's That's fucking true. amazing. He is the supported character. Wong, yeah. Wong is like this phase is Nick Fury. <laughs> yes. He, that's very true. He is this supporting, this whole franchise is supporting character. He is carrying this shit. Wong is in like two or three episodes of She-Hulk yeah. and it's fucking incredible. So funny. I might have to find those scenes online to watch. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's fucking great. That actor has to be like, like he has to be just like kind of just living it. Like, so dude, great. he's fucking thriving. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have to deal with any confusion on set with character names because his name is Benedict Wong. Right? Not at all. <laughs> But it gotta be nice. Pretty great. Not at all. He's like, make the checks out to Wong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nathan will appreciate the uh, LinkedIn joke in She-Hawk actually regarding his name. Oh, really? Which is fantastic. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> oh, I think I saw a screenshot of that. Doesn't it say like on his LinkedIn, like Sorcerer Supreme or something like that? <laughs> it's like Sorcerer Supreme before that, like employee at Target. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lib- and librarian, right? Like yeah. he was the librarian at Comertage. He was Sorcerer Supreme, librarian at Comertage, and then a uh, Target employee. That's yeah. funny. I missed that. That's great. But then also, like, there's just a great line. They're like, yeah, this guy named Wong. Wong what? No, just Wong. Yeah. It's just called Wong. <laughs> I think I even asked that question during this movie. It's like, what is Wong's name? And yeah. then it's just Wong. Okay. It's Wong. <laughs> no, it's, it's like it's like Cher. Yeah. He has <laughs> no time for any bullshit. And also, this, they, the same screen presence. Yeah. Like, they him pop. and Cher just fucking... Yeah, they light up. They pop on screen. And uh, we're, we're kind of in this new era, too, of... Uh, like kaiju esque monsters because mm-hmm. between this and Suicide Squad, lots of <laughs> giant seafood looking creatures getting a pale through their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 fun. I could keep watching this all day. It's super fun. <laughs> Sa- and we're in Sam Raimi. It's unmistakably Sam Raimi's New York, right? Like yes. it looks like we're in one of the Spider-Man movies. Oh it, yeah, kind of does. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Like if if I could give like the biggest positive about this movie in particular is how unapologetic Sam Raimi is. Mm-hmm. How unapologetic uh, of a Sam Raimi movie this is, yeah. even though it's under Kevin Feige's chains and shit. But yeah, it's sure. just like, but you know, like this is still like a distinctive same Ramy movie like it is in parts yeah in, in parts of it but there's it, it, I love the Raimi dissolves. I love like the weird canted angles. There's like a bunch of like superimposed images when characters are describing things mm-hmm. to each other. Mm-hmm. And I kept seeing when this movie came out, people posting these clips on Twitter and being like, I can't fucking believe yeah. this bullshit. This looks terrible. Yeah. And, and I'm this like, is the coolest fucking thing this whole franchise has ever done. 100%. And these fucking sweaty nerds are like, it's, it doesn't follow the formula. I kept saying, like, I, I I implore you to watch any other fucking movie, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's the kids who don't know who the fuck Sam Raimi is. Yeah. Sure. That's very true. It's essentially a horror movie at the end, yeah. like, at the last bit. It's, it's, it's great. Well, it's... This dude pioneered what you know and love as fucking superhero movies. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. He did it three times. The third time, not so great, but right. he did it three fucking times. Yeah. And it gets diet drag me to hell in that third act. And I am <laughs> like, this is this is what I'm here for. And I'm still happy. Yeah. But yeah. the problem with it is that every other scene besides a couple here and there, it's just right back to the formula. It's yeah. like they, they reined him in a little too hard, which is fine. I get it. You got to you know keep the formula going but it's that middle it's that middle chunk yeah. like at the hour mark i feel like it loses its way for a while like wanda invading the the sanctum Comertage. is yeah. f- like when she comes out of that gong oh. one of the coolest fucking things and it's so it's so fucking creepy awesome and then you get that like you said the dutch angles of the yeah. doors slamming closed and everything Which is fully a shot from evil dead too yes yes it's so good and my favorite by far got to be the cackling demons. Like that shit is so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, at the yeah. end of this movie, when it's like <laughs> demons, strange. It's, so, it's the coolest. Thing. Yeah. And yeah, if you're if you don't like it, 
you're a fucking nerd. It's like it's like giving Nathan a fucking piggyback ride. It is. <laughs> it's delightful. I don't I don't think this movie yeah, it's like is it's almost like this movie wouldn't have worked necessarily unless Sam Raimi directed yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. There's there's stuff here that I just Ah, man, I can't imagine someone else bringing me that kind of joy. Yes. Can we agree, though, that Elizabeth Olsen fucking crushes it? She's great. Best performance, yeah. maybe? She is so fine in this movie. <laughs> yeah. well, that, doesn't, that doesn't hurt either. She's, she's played Scarlet Witch in like, all these other movies, and then like in this one, I'm like, why is she like finer? It's like it's crazy. Because <laughs> well, she's a little more goth in this one. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, I mean, th- this, is, this is the first time we've seen her as the Scarlet True, Witch. True, for sure. True. Well, I'm I want to see more of it. Well, that's a question I'll have at the end. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> she she also has maybe the hardest line in the whole fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Which is like the, it won't be Wanda that comes for her. It'll be the yeah. Scarlet Witch. Ooh, yeah, that's dope. Hardest <laughs> fucking line in the movie. Yeah. She's got a couple of moments in this movie. I'm like, God damn, she is crushing it. I don't know. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of Doctor Strange releasing those little snake monsters and hissing. The <laughs> big, extreme close <laughs> of him just going, ah, it's really crazy. <laughs> Well, I do. Let's start getting to the parts of the movie that I'm not a huge fan of. Sure. And maybe this is because of my lack of comic book knowledge. But No, they, they they take a recognizable concept from the comics and kind of do their own thing with whoever was available. Apparently. Well, I And that's one of my problems. I think the issue with this whole multiverse stuff mm-hmm. is that it feels too small. Sure. Like there's I get it that there's an infinite possibilities of stuff and therefore you're likely to have similar things. Mm-hmm. But like when... You know, America's in this universe that's not hers. Right. And in this universe, they also speak Spanish in the same exact way. <laughs> like, every... And then when they get to the universe where it's like, oh, the lights are red instead of green. Like Pizza is balls. Yeah, it's like, that's it? Like, <laughs> we, we're not going to a planet where we have gills and, like, we just grunt and stuff. Like, sure. I don't know. Like, do something crazy. We're talking about the multiverse here. It's of infinite madness. Possible. Yes! What's the madness? Oh, we're, we walk on red instead of green? Okay. Yeah. Bruce All Campbell's right. going to beat himself up for a little while. <laughs> I think they just got stuck on that name. Like yeah. They were like, oh, Multiverse of Madness sounds so cool. Yeah. Like, we have to stick to it that. It does sound cool. It does. Well, yeah, because that, I mean, that was the title before Sam Raimi even, like, before the script got rewritten completely from Scott Derrickson's strip. Yeah. yeah. It's a solid title. It I, is. No complaints. It's also, it's like... Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It's like Austin That's Powers nice in Gold Member. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty great. Which, can we all agree that when Wanda shows up to attack the place, like she clearly just watched Independence Day? <laughs> <laughs> How so? Sure. <laughs> great. Oh, <Okay>. okay. <laughs> Full stop. Yeah, I'll agree. <laughs> when they have this scene where it's Wanda and uh, Strange talking, and I'm just like, after describing everything, I'm like, man, after everything that's happened in this MCU, mm-hmm. the real hero of this franchise is William Hurt, because that dude was right. These people <laughs> need to be put in check. Like, <laughs> it is like, when Wanda's like, the greater good, yeah. I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing in this movie? <laughs> when they, we get the switch? He's not so senile after but that's, all. But that's, that's sort of a problem I have with the this movie's treatment of Wanda. As much as I, I feel like, I mean, I, I totally understand that the, the Dark Hold is corrupting her and mm-hmm. everything. That's the idea. But we, we, there's so much that happens in her interior life off screen. Yeah. That, that progresses her to this villainous point. And it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. There, there's a there's a thing uh, on AIPT Comics. We were talking to uh, Steve Orlando, comic book writer, and he had the story. Don't plug your other fucking shows. <laughs> not, no, this is this this actually matters. Uh, he has this story with Wanda confronting Doctor Doom because Doctor Doom was trying to get all these heroes together to help him like solve this thing involving the Dark Hold, and she's like, "No, you don't get to be a hero when you decide to." And mm. meanwhile, I'm like a boogeyman because I made one mistake. Yeah, right. and and I, I don't know. No, I, it's I, I would I don't know. There's there's just so much I feel like that happens off screen that I'd love to see kind of uh, get resolved. That well, that's one of that's one of my problems with this movie is yeah. this fault. And I get it, like you said, it's the dark hold, whatever. Yeah. But this false equivalency bullshit that one is trying to pull, where mm-hmm. it's not fair 
that you gave Thanos the time stone, but I enslaved an entire town's right. population yeah, and yeah. nearly got everyone there murdered. Yeah. I would say a better a better equivalency would be Tony Stark gets to build Ultron and then doesn't go to jail there forever. Go. There you go. He instead works for the government. He destroyed an entire country, but I took over one little town. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. But then, the, then you don't have that personal connection. And M- Michael Stolberg's character doing the same thing, and it's like he... He literally told you this is the one way we can defeat Thanos. Yeah. It's- well, in his defense, uh, that turns out it probably wasn't technically true. True. Right? Yes, yeah, true. But I'm like, I mean, you're in the heat of the moment. Like, you, you, it's it's not like he's got all day to plan about this shit. It's like Thanos is coming. What do we do? Uh, I only looked at 14 million options. This is the <laughs> one that worked. Yeah. It's like, okay, we'll go with that. All day I dream about Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Um. So we get to this part where they're deciding they're going to, you know, Wanda's coming. They got to fortify this this place. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about when I said uh, you're saying the quiet part out loud because <laughs> uh, I think it's Wong talking to the other people in the in the sanctum. Yeah. He says, if she gets America's power, she can enslave everyone. And I'm like, oh, dude, you got to reword that. <laughs> you got to reword that. <laughs> oh, my God. Wanda is Russia. <laughs> well, if America she's... falls, the multiverse is next. <laughs> Wong has this line too when when he just starts screaming, "Sorcerers, fortify your mind!" And I'm like, "Fucking what? Yeah, <laughs> what?" The, I I feel like that was him just improving. Yeah, and they were like, <laughs> "Fucking keep it." He was very aggressive when he said that too. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Fortify your minds!" And I was like, "All right, dude." They <laughs> we were like, "All right, man, tight." <laughs> but it is a cool. I mean, this is one thing I will not knock this movie for is the visuals because mm-hmm. it is a very cool way of showing Wanda getting into this guy's mind of just stepping out from behind him totally. and telling him to run. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really cool. I like, in a one, like, I love they brought back, like, spooky Wanda from yes. Age of Ultron. Yes. Which was great. Yes. Imagine, though, if this movie had come out in, like, 99, mm-hmm. like, the moment that scene started, that Free Your Mind song would have fucking <laughs> <laughs> needle dropped. Would have been great. With, uh, with Mia Jovovich as the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. I, God, that was my favorite part of Ultron is fucking Wanda's visions and stuff. And I yeah. wish this movie would, I mean, it tries to do a little bit more of it. And of course, she's got her adversary stopping her. But yeah, I, I think if you want to redeem that, fan service Illuminati section, I mm-hmm. I think do a little bit harder. I mean, they go pretty fucking hard there, but I want to see some more other than just uh, fights. Because this movie is mostly fights. I don't know if you guys noticed. Well, yeah, I, I feel a little let down whenever I see two sorcerers fighting and they're just shooting energy blasts. Yeah. Yep. Like, I get more into, like, the weird... We'll get there, but man, that musical note fight is fucking I like it. dope as hell. It's fucking rad. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that was a reshoot. Mm, really? really? Wow. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention Danny Elfman scoring this movie. Yeah. And that scene. Whoo, I, it's fucking I awesome. forgot he did that. Uh, dude, I have not been a big fan of his in recent years, yeah, but same. he fucking nailed it on this one. Yeah, yeah. Like the score when Wanda Dreamwalks goes yes. hard as fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. All the guitar stuff's good. I was going to say, with that sex guitar and bass kick in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> awesome. awesome. It's great. And it's good to see them two reunite, too, since Spider-Man. So. Yeah. Definitely. It was like it was like a Scott Pilgrim, the um, the note fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Where they do the bass, the bass, the bass battle. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I do miss Michael Giacchino's theme mm-hmm. from the first movie, the kind of harpsichord heavy Pink floyd shit. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. I mean, Elfman's no slouch. No. Not at all. I got to say, that memory lane bit is maybe the worst way to do an exposition dump Ooh, I've ever seen. Yeah. I got some notes about that, but <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Like, let's just like, all right, let's pause the movie for about five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many people have gotten their feelings hurt stepping I was, on that thing? I was, we're gonna, hey, we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I, uh, but I this- want to take Nathan to memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the school bullying stuff we talked about on Halloween 4. <laughs> yep, if you know what I mean. I tried to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Nathan, were you bullied? No, 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 I no. I don't believe you. Of course not. I'm cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you should have been. People, uh, when I'm, I'm noticing this scene with them fighting at the Santorum and stuff, I'm like, people always say on like Twitter and stuff that it must suck to live in Gotham because of all the Batman villains. And mm-hmm. I'm like, but dude, New Yorkers of the MCU got it 10 times worse. Yep. This shit is always fucking happening. Yeah, like yep. 
Uh, I'm riding the, fucking... the bus and a giant <laughs> space octopus just attacked. Yeah, or or uh, it's getting cut in half in Shang Chi too. <laughs> hey, that was San Francisco. True, true. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, did you guys see the de- the? It wasn't an actually deleted scene. It was a delete. Well, it would have been a deleted scene, but they never shot it. But there was footage of them rehearsing it. Mm. The deleted scene from her attack on Comertage mm-hmm. where she puppeteers a dead body. Oh, oh yeah. no. Holy. F- I wish they had kept it in because it looks so fucking cool. Like yeah. she kills this guy and then controls his body and kills like five other people. Oh. And it looked so fucking cool. Wow. Yeah. But they apparently cut it out for some reason probably too dark because i will say from what i know like this movie was infamous for how many like it did a big chunk of reshoots Mm -hmm. Uh and contrary to what reddit will tell you they (laughs) weren't necessarily changing like story element like they weren't like redoing the entire third act or anything like that sure Mm -hmm. they did reshoot some stuff Mm -hmm. just to make wanda less evil Mm. wow like this is the softened version. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ori- Holy so shit. original, like originally, from what I heard during principal photography, they went way like probably what that rehearsal sequence was from. Like uh-huh. they went too dark with Wanda. Dang. Hell yeah. yeah that's what I, was I was I was promised Marvel's first horror movie. Sure. And I I think that's Werewolf by Night. If we're really going to talk about it, uh-huh. but this one gets almost there. It's got some spooky bits in it. Yeah. And. Not for nothing, this slight tease of Raimi going full Raimi. Oh, yeah. I I looked. It's about the 35-minute mark, which I feel like is too long. Yeah. And especially how long it'll take us to see it again. But, yeah, Wanda coming out of this gong, the guys getting pulled through the... The, the puddles. Eyes showing up where they're not supposed oh, to. That's a Raimi <laughs> thing for you right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, we get a de- we get Deadite vision. Like, we get yes. the Deadite POV a couple of times. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. And then we go through the different multiverses. There's some cool shit in here. The the paint world is really cool. Mm-hmm. The cell shaded AHA video <laughs> looking one is pretty cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. We get another line that I'm like, guys, you're, t- you're, you're the social... Oh. The socialist agenda in my fucking Marvel movie. Food's free in most universes. <laughs> Goddamn liberals are trying to put their agenda down my throat. I don't like this character. <laughs> hey, me neither, I dude. I'm just doing this. a service. I'm just doing a service. Doing a service to fucking who? <laughs> who do you think listens to this show, Dustin? <laughs> Not those people. That's when we, of course, we get introduced to Pizza Papa. Hey. Bruce Campbell having a blast. Yes. Right? And doing, like, Ash level shtick. Yeah. yeah the hell out of himself yeah, yeah. three weeks of that he said <laughs> yeah. it's fucking great <laughs> dr strange is an asshole yeah i mean that's been established yes. he is a dick yeah <laughs> that's that's the part of this multiverse that is truly insane is they put mustard on their pizzas apparently because oh, i didn't understand yeah. why he had mustard <laughs> wow i didn't even think about that he just yeah. has mustard on deck why <laughs> <laughs> it's not hot dog papa it's pizza papa. <laughs> i don't know um, so yeah, let's talk about this memory lane thing because could you even imagine? Sure. <laughs> You're on a it's basically a giant flat screen TV for everybody to see. Yes. Oh. <laughs> imagine that at like a Best Buy or something. <laughs> well, and we get more Doctor Strange incel moments here because oh uh, th- boy, this is the one we gotta pull up, huh? Yep. <laughs> Let's think about this watch. By the way, that's a twenty-seven thousand dollar watch. I looked it up. Woo! That's insane. He can afford that. He's a surgeon. Why are you buying? She <laughs> bought it for him, yeah. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm like, why are you buying it? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh we get even a, a monicum of America Chavez's character. I know. In that she a b is to be blamed for all of this <laughs> like your your mother's got jettisoned into the fucking multiverse because of a b yeah mm-hmm. come <laughs> it's on so fucking funny <laughs> and so i wish we would have gone sam Raimi, for that like the b's vision <laughs> as the dead eyes and it's like the dutch angle zoom ins and stuff we uh, learned that wanda was the b oh my gosh she sent the b uh that would have been great. Well, like, what, like, why couldn't it just been like, oh, an incursion happened? Her parent, like, sure. You build up, like, you they go f- hard into this like whole incursion thing in like the next ten minutes. Yeah. Like, why didn't you just do that? Why, why a fucking B? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, 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 guys. You know they have to write these movies in, within like a week or two. Like they got to get <laughs> these things. Like, yeah, they have a gut. Kevin Feige's got a gut to their heads. Like, I swear <laughs> to fucking God. Yeah, like they gotta, he, they gotta crank them things out. They ain't got time for that kind of well, stuff. Well, it is funny. It is funny you say that because Michael Waldron did not have 
long to uh, oh, yeah. rewrite this movie. <laughs> True. Would have been <laughs> would have been better if that uh, science teacher from the first Spider Man movie pulled into America Chavez. It's like if you do not keep it down during this incursion, you will fail my class. I, I kid, kid you not. not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that would have been that would have been like the best cameo since like <laughs> Spider Man No Way Home, like yeah. all of that. That would have been the most personal like cameo right there. <laughs> Ned, if you keep opening portals, you will fill my class. I kid you not. I kid you not. God, that would be so perfect. I wish just like a little L C D screen would have pulled up behind America when she got like stung by the bee and it would have just show it all the traits she now has, like it does in that Spider Man right, movie. That would right. be cool. That would have done more than the movie does <laughs> to tell me what she could do. Yeah. Doctor Strange is just like lost in like certain scenes in Spider-Man 2 and stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah, so this is where like I just started thinking about no matter how good this movie is or isn't, mm. um, for me, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it it's not going to be better than that what if episode about Doctor Strange because yes. that's like, I, just Sam Raimi directing that would be 10 times better than like MacGuffin the movie. Like, it's- <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kevin Feige showed that showed that to Sam Raimi and them were like and we're like y'all need to step it up because they made this that's a uh, goddamn like Kevin Feige actually took that episode to Raimi and them and were like y'all got some competition wow that shit is so fucking good I didn't particularly like most of what if and I I, I really dug that episode but it was it was also strange that that's <laughs> no pun intended but like that's not the version that he meets at the end of this like I, I kind of feel like if we're, if we're going for synergy above all else. Well, there was talk, too, and this might just be the fucking nerds just talking out of their ass, but there was talks, too, of like, oh, this one what if episode is going to be very important for mm-hmm. the MCU. Nope. And, nope, not at all. Nope. It's just <laughs> a hint of what we could have had, and <laughs> instead we got this. Not complaining, but man, that what if episode is hard to top. Like, boy, that, that solidified that whole miniseries for me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just... I love we get introduced to Chua to Elijah Forrest's character mm-hmm. here again. He's got these candles set on the dramatic setting uh-huh. because he mentions this book or whatever and all the candles go out. Sam Raimi top to bottom, yeah. but man, it's just so fucking funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they, they go to they go to Splinter's lair yeah. from Ninja Turtles <laughs> for the story. Yeah. Do and you then, have a father, Danny? <laughs> the, se- the sex guitar and bass line kick in with yeah. these superimposed images, and I'm like, man, what movie am I watching? <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh, no, it's awesome. I'm not complaining, but I'm like, boy, what a total shift. The guitar gives way to this fucking ice cream song Mm -hmm. that is maybe the worst 30 seconds committed to film this year. (laughs) It's not great. Wait, what's the ice cream song? We love ice cream. Or whatever. Right, right, right. God, there is... Nothing more horrifying in this movie than this fucking s- scene with these kids. <laughs> that shit is that is haunting. Watching two kids sing in unison. No fucking thank you. But I do love like the moving photograph, the storm and the teacup. Like oh, that the moving shit's great. Photograph is so cool. The fourth wall break. Yes. 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 Nah, it's they really nailed the feeling of horror and mind fuckery that Scarlet Witch does in this movie. It's mm-hmm. perfect. But then we get to the part of the movie that I do not like at all because I'm like, man, I don't care if this is a comic book thing. Mm-hmm. You can't call these people the Illuminati. You can't <laughs> fucking do it. No, thank you. Sure. The Illumo, what are you? Yeah. Yeah, Steve, that, yeah. Steven doesn't know that word. God, the humor of the MCU is just, it's so formulaic at this point. Like His response to Black Agar Boltagon. Yep, <laughs> yep. Why is his breath bad? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're not Guardians, by the way. You don't have to do that. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. He doesn't have to be a quip machine. This. Yeah. It almost becomes not a movie anymore right. when when we get. I mean, I'm, I like these actors playing these characters, yeah, but totally like Peggy Carter as Captain Britain is really cool. Because, mm-hmm. of course, that, again, goes back to the what if stuff. Sure. Uh, I'm f- I guess I'm fine with Rambo becoming Captain Marvel, even though it's just like a copy paste. Like, <laughs> sure. which is that's exactly so what they did is with Captain Pe- Carter. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They did it with Peggy Carter. I wish they yeah. would have done. I, don't, I mean, enough. I'm fine with Rambo being there, but that's that was odd. I was so bummed out about. So I I love Peggy Carter so much, mm-hmm. and I I remember like when this movie was about to come out, they dropped a TV spot like four days before it hit theaters that spoiled Captain Carter. Oh yeah, and I was like, why not give me leave something for when the movie comes out? Yeah. They actually spoiled it in the very first poster. Did they? Oh, I missed that. Well, the first of like the first like theatrical like official poster. Uh-huh. Like 
with sh- like all the shattered glass. Yeah. You see her shield in one of the pieces. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got okay. the Union Jack on it, right? Yep. It's probably my biggest gripe about the MCU now is that like there's nothing that's like a surprise no more. Like nope. they always want to like give you like these news and like they want to rush to like, oh, look, this, this person is going to be in it. This character is going to be in it. And mm-hmm. it's, it's always that. Yes. And, when, and it's not and it's not having even been filmed yet. And that's yeah. that's what they lead with. It's so frustrating. Well, that's why I got to I got to give them credit for not even though fucking, you know, it was a uh, everyone knew, but right. they never showed the other two Spider-Men yes. until after the movie. Like, I got to give them credit for that. See, totally. OK. That all right. That was an interesting situation because, like, when I saw that, I saw the leaks. But even then, whenever I was sitting there watching the movie, I'm thinking, "Holy shit! What if it's not like for real?" Like, yeah. now I'm sitting there like opening Thursday night. It's like, like, what if it's not really that? What, what if? if it's really just bullshit? Yeah. And then, like, whenever they showed up, granted, like, it was still just kind of well. At least for me, it was like, goddamn. Like, I knew. <laughs> that the rumors were out there but like holy fuck it's like really Tommy Maguire like yeah, right here yeah, like yeah. they really pulled it off it still felt magical yeah mm-hmm. it's still just like holy shit oh very magical and that's with this movie too though because they asked I mean, the fans asked Ryan Reynolds are you in the movie he's like no I'm not yeah. they asked Patrick Stewart are you in the movie he's like no I'm not it's like you got two different outcomes, but guys, what they can't say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to say okay. that. <laughs> can't fucking do it. <laughs> Patrick Stewart's response was hilarious because that Super Bowl spot came out and he goes, how could I have been in it? I was sitting at home watching football. <laughs> God, classy motherfucker. <laughs> That's how I felt about when John Krasinski popped up as Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. So when he popped up, it was like, whoa, wow. You guys actually went and did that. Okay. Yeah. And it's as boring as I always thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I do like Nathan you probably caught this but uh-huh. the device he uses to enter the scene oh, yeah. that's a great comic reference yeah. to Dr. Doom's thing it's uh yeah it's Doom's like time tunnel right? yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking awesome yeah well John to your point and I think we may have talked about this for a second I thought you were addressing John Krasinski I was like fuck <laughs> is he here John listen here <laughs> guys he's, on, he's not saying anything but he's sitting right next we to me we need some good news John <laughs> yeah he, he, he's right beside me here he's just listening in <laughs> What if they introduced everyone and then he teleported in as Jack Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the Illuminati. They're like our leader, Jack Ryan. And now the smartest man alive, Jim. <laughs> oh, Jim. Yeah, he just looks at the camera, does that thing he does. It's yeah. Like, oh man, he put my fucking magical cape in jello again. <laughs> oh shit. What if they just cut the smartest man in the universe and it's that uh, it's that's- Dwight Schrute. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, it's Rain Wilson as Doctor Doom. Oh my God! <laughs> I was going to say it's that rotoscoped, it's that rotoscoped uh, Tuco Salamanca fight in Thanos. And just like, but to your point, John, about them spoiling things, I think we talked about this way back on the Infinity War episode. And the only bit of inside knowledge I have about that is. For example, we th- we talked about the Thor Ragnarok trailer spoiling that the Hulk is in it. Oh yeah, and the way because I you know I work in the trailer business. The way I was explained, really, you've never mentioned that before. I know. The way I, it was explained you to sell me, RVs <laughs> <laughs> is every movie producer, even ones as successful as Kevin Feige and as uh you know as main staple as the MCU is, mm-hmm. they look at each movie as a failure. Mm. Like before it even comes out, they're like, this movie is going to flop. Yep. How do we get people in the seats? Sounds like my last job. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, how do we get people in the seats? Well, people are, you know, people didn't care for that Thor 2. Mm-hmm. So what if we show them the Hulk? They, then maybe they'll be interested. Right. So that's the mindset that these people have, which I think they're starting to realize, hey, people are going to see these fucking movies no matter what. Who gives a shit? And that's why you get this tight net security around things like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield and uh, John Krasinski now. Like, they finally are like, okay, it doesn't matter. It's like we're talking about the fact that they're, like the fan base, a, a large section of the fan base revolted against this movie and then it still did an easy 900 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me because, again, I'm on the other side of it, right. but that's, that's how it was explained to me. Spoiler culture is weird. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's, all it is essentially is just a, hey, I knew 
knew that. Yeah. Right. And then that's all it is. But well, and some people don't care about it. But it, for me, it's like it's part of the it's part of the magic of storytelling. Like I want to be taken on this journey. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to know point A to point B of the movie. And I was thinking about uh, the Black Panther trailer, like yeah. the second trailer. I haven't watched that one. I I, I have no idea. I, I like kind of skimp my my. I didn't watch the second one either. I watched yeah. the first one and that was it. That's my new approach too. Is yeah. I watch that teaser. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch like a teaser or something, or like the first trailer or something, mm-hmm. and then like I'm kind of like good from there. Yeah, like the Last of Us trailer, like I'm good for that. Like yep. even, yeah, and the Black Panther trailer is like saw the teaser for that. All right, cool. I'm good. Like I I'm good on that. Which black that Black Panther two teaser fuck trailer of the fucking year yeah, yeah. My dad. holy shit yeah i agree the second one or the first one the first one okay the first one with no woman no cry yeah, yeah. Good, good good so good good yeah. okay the black like black panther once again best use of music in a mm-hmm. trailer because mm. the first the first black panther had a fucking amazing trailer too yeah mm-hmm. yes i'm very very much looking forward to see what they do with that with that sequel. i have all full confidence in ryan coogler so totally but yeah, same. I feel you though. Like one trailer and I'm done. Like I, we're just a few days away from it. But that Halloween's in tra- second trailer. Um, I'm avoiding it like the plague. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen. I only watched like one trailer of that too. Mm-hmm. Like I, I saw, and even that, I don't even remember what the fuck I even watched. So. Oh, well, <laughs> I think I watched that first one a little too closely because uh-huh. Malay and I had a very similar theory about this movie, and it's seeming like it's coming true. Which oh yeah. We'll see. I got to talk to y'all about that because I think I might have the same one. <laughs> oh, boy. I ruined myself on Halloween Kills because, like, I watched every goddamn trailer. I was so excited oh, for it. So did Mally. Yeah. <laughs> Mally read the script. Yeah. Read- <laughs> yeah. I was so excited for that movie, man. I, I watched every goddamn thing. And then like, when I watched the movie in theater, I was, I was like, oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. I, that was the biggest egg on my face of all movies of all time. I was mm-hmm. so hyped for that movie, and it was not good. I took the day off from work to yeah. go see it at, like, <laughs> noon. I just remember reading the script and then telling you guys, if... They pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest bolded, underlined, italicized if of all time. Because uh, well, I remember the first thing after DC saw Halloween Kills, you just text me saying, so that's what you meant when you kept saying if. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, think, yep. I think my first words to you guys were, guys, it fucking sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think you texted, yeah, I hated it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hated it. <laughs> well, I hated it. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> Evil dies. <laughs> Take a shot every time that happens. Well, well you'll be dead. You'll yeah. be dead. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Doctor Strange kills. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange kills. Seeing Professor X get his neck snapped is fucking wild. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Holy fuck. I, I felt personally attacked when that happened because I was like, wait, what? How are you going to do that? That's crazy. Yeah. Well, he he has a line, too, because he's the only one in this Illuminati. I even saying it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's the only one of this group that is like... Uh, just because someone fucks up doesn't mean they can't find their way again. Yeah, and I mean it, that's a that is a quote from Days of Future Past. Also, yep, sure. But I'm also like, as someone who's seen the first hour and a half of this movie, I'm like, sure. how is that even remotely applicable in this situation? Because sure. they're going based off of their universe's Doctor Strange. They're I'm strange. like, this guy didn't yeah. do shit. Yeah, like, why is he in prison? They're they're in a. They're in the Baxter Foundation, which has a whole wing dedicated <laughs> to studying the multiverse, mm-hmm. and they're all just like, every Stephen Strange can go fuck himself. Yeah. This is kind of like that movie The One with Jet Lee right here. <laughs> it <laughs> totally is. Uh, blood-soaked Wanda, yes, please. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I need more scenes of that. that we only, need more scenes. The only part of this section I like is her just murdering all these <laughs> Superhero. Well, and that's the, that that feels the most Raimi, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I love that they introduced the like the Illuminati. So all comic book nerds are like, holy fuck. Oh my god, this is gonna change everything. And <laughs> then they murder them immediately, and yeah. I fucking love it. It feels like Sam Raimi being like, Yeah, you want your fucking cameos? Watch this. I'm gonna cut Captain Carter in half. I'm gonna <laughs> shred John Ch- Krasinski like cheese. You know what that scene reminded me of? Mm. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with it, but like the uh, Invincible. <laughs> oh. The scene in Invincible. Oh, yeah, Invincible. The end of the pilot. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, the first episode. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. That's kind of, that reminded me of that. That, that show is so fucking cool. It's great. <laughs> it is. It's perfect. Uh, so, 
I don't know shit about the Illuminati. Can anyone give me a quick rundown on why this matters? Yeah, so Jay-Z and Beyonce <laughs> created the um, Lament configuration. <laughs> actually, actually, Hauser's got it. Oh, my God. If they would have revealed, that would have been already plus 5% is yeah. that Beyonce would have been the new captain. <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z wheels in after Professor X. Oh, my God. Jay-Z is, is uh, Reed Richards? Yes. Oh. <laughs> and the greatest rapper alive, Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just strange. <laughs> and the man-child, Adam Carolla. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy. It's your boy, Dr. Strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you sound like, you sound like Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Please give me the bullet points about the Illuminati. <laughs> Honestly, fuck it. Put Alexander Hamilton on the Illuminati. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton protecting the multiverse. Um, no, it was uh, in the comics. It was Iron Man, Black Bolt, Doctor Strange, Mister Fantastic, Namor, and Professor X. Mm-hmm. And basically, they were trying to manipulate things from behind the scenes and kind of uh, save the world without. Uh, oh, so it's just the Illuminati. It's not just yeah. a name thing. I thought there would be more to it. Okay. No, no. Okay. No, basically. Yeah. I mean, in the com- in the comics, they're the ones who like trap Hulk in a ship and send him off world just to get rid of him. Okay. Like it's uh, there. It's a lot more of like shades of gray and stuff. And here it's very vaguely defined. God. Oh, so it's not villain activity. It's like you said, shades of gray. Of yeah. The greater good. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fine. I guess, which is, a, which is a cool idea that I'd love to see the, the movies explore. It's just here. They're kind of like, Hey, here's a thing that people will recognize. God, I just, after this movie and everything, and as someone who's not watching the TV shows, I'm mm-hmm. I'm worried that by the time we get to the next big tentpole Avengers thing with Kang, yeah. I'm not going to know any fucking thing that's going on. <laughs> sure. Uh, and I I I'm, I know they're good shows. Yeah, I'm not fucking watching 17 different TV shows between now and then. I can't. I can't. I feel you. I do. You mentioned Wanda having a pretty boss ass line earlier, Mally. Mm-hmm. I think this one that she gives right here is pretty fucking good too. Which is it? There will be someone left yep. to raise them, or yep. what? Mouth. Holy sh! No, no, no. That's the first one. Is their mother still alive? Good. There will be someone left to raise them. Yeah. God. Damn. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> that was hard. That was hard. It's. It's the kind of death and destruction I wanted in in Infinity War and Endgame. Like, I wanted stakes in this franchise, and the only way I get it is with these multiverse people that matter 0% to the story. Black Bolt's brain exploding blew my mind in the theater. It's cool. Blew his, too. Hey! Hey! Hey. Hey. God, that's the most Nathan joke I've ever made. I I, I was as, as, as... as forced as it feels, I was very excited to see Anson Mount uh, in this movie. Like, as I, I, who is he again? He's bl- he's Black Bolt. Got it. So he's <laughs> currently crushing it on Star Trek, but he's playing. Uh, he played Black Bolt in the shitty Inhumans TV series. So Got bad. It. I got it. But he took that role so seriously that he was like, oh, well, this guy, he can't speak, so he wouldn't use ASL. Like, he would have his own alien sign language. Mm. And so he'd like, this guy, like, made a Google Doc that's like 60 pages long of his own sign language that he created for this character, only for the show to be terrible and get canceled after one season. Yep. Oh, poor guy. And so this was like kind of a redemption thing for him in a lot of ways yeah. getting to wear like a comic accurate costume yeah i guess he doesn't wear it because it's cgi yeah. But, oh yeah completely yeah. which i gotta say for the fact that all of their costumes were cgi yeah, yeah. looked fucking great it yeah. does look good yeah is he the main guy on strange new worlds yes yeah, yeah he's yeah, christopher pike. pike god i haven't seen it but i i worked on one of the the trailers and i do recognize his face now that i'm seeing it yeah. okay he's he's so good on that show and apparently he voiced batman uh in injustice yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's one of the better parts of that movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. But yeah, I, this whole scene kicks ass. Mm-hmm. I loved <laughs> seeing a blood-soaked Captain America oh, shield. We skipped over the fact that we got the fucking X-Men animated show theme. Oh, we, yeah. sure did. we did. Holy yeah. fuck. We did, yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> And nobody in my theater said shit. And I was so pissed off. Were you the only one reacting? Uh, Yeah, I was looking at everybody. (laughs) Hey, guys, are are we going to do cheer? Do the thing. Let's do the thing now. Nobody didn't do it. That sounds like... That sounds like me when I went and saw Spectre and I was the only one who knew who Blofeld was. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> and everyone's like, what? That was that was me going to see No Time to Die and gasping <laughs> when we have all the time in the world started yes. playing. 
Uh, that's sad. That was Star Trek Into Darkness when Benedict come in his own hand was like, I'm con. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone went, huh? Yeah. I am come. That was, that was, that was me. That was me when I saw, uh, Light Mike and <laughs> Bow Wow got the shoes and then I was like, yo, he got the ones. Oh, God, God, those are the ones. Oh. Those are the ones. John, didn't we, did we see Into Darkness with a group? And I think maybe even you and I were the only ones that reacted when he said, I am con. <laughs> I can't remember. Someone in most of my theater went, huh? And yeah. then one dude who yelled out, no shit. No. Yeah, it was the yeah. worst kept secret. That's the two reactions you can have to that reveal. Yeah. Um, so this is, again, where I feel like the multiverse is too small because uh -huh. he goes and meets this other Doctor Strange, and they both had a sister named Donna that died in the exact same way. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah. That shouldn't work, right? Yeah. Am I am I missing something? I gotta say that that sister story feels like something that was left over from a previous draft. Yeah, I it was it was in the first movie. They actually shot it and then then cut it from the film. Okay, and then forgot that they cut it and referenced it in this movie. I guess so because it does feel like it comes out of nowhere, right? Wait, what 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 happened again? So when he when he goes to meet this other Doctor Strange. So do you remember that scene in Like Mike? <laughs> okay, <laughs> where I, I'm following. I'm following. I'm following. <laughs> When, when he goes and meets this other Doctor Strange, the evil one, uh -huh. he says, how do I know you're do the, uh, the Doctor Strange from your universe? And he says, we had a sister uh, named yeah, yeah, Donna. Yeah. And right there, the other Doctor Strange should be like, uh, no, the fuck I didn't. Right. Yeah, because this okay, is a multiverse. Yeah. I, guess like, it, yeah. I, I had a brother named Danny. <laughs> well, you know, what? he should have just, how do I know you're the Doctor Strange of your universe? Mother, look at me. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I look like you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Except I got the cum in my hair. Yeah, we haven't talked about we haven't talked about the fact that like Doctor Strange's whole goal is to get to the Book of Vashanti, which is like the ultimate MacGuffin. I feel mm -hmm. like right. Like I I hate in sequels when someone brings up a thing that they're like, well, we all know about this thing that grants a wish. Right, right. <laughs> they, they do it in Thor: Love and Thunder yeah. too. Where it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, we all know about this, but it's a fairy tale unless it's not. And now we yep. have to find it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Ashanti. <laughs> it is, it is pops out. a tried and true. It's murder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It, w is this Sinister Strange here? That's what this guy's name is? Yeah. Or no? No, that is not Sinister Strange. Murder ain't strange. I was going to say, is. if he just said that right before they started fighting, which was, it's murder. <laughs> murder ain't strange. Uh, what did you do to your universe? <laughs> I hosted Fire Festival. <laughs> <laughs> it went down in flames. Fire Festival got out of hand. He's got a little strange. <laughs> strange. <laughs> this movie. This like movie it. should be a lot more punny yeah. than, it, than it just like it needs to be. Like the guy's name is Doctor Strange. Just go full on with the puns. So we're in some kind of multiverse. Yes. Of yes. yes. Camera pans in. Yes. Madness. Yes. <laughs> oh, this movie would have been a ten out of ten for me if they would have gone in that direction. Yes, please. What was your name again? <laughs> Weird MD. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That's the most Nathan joke I've ever made. Oh, quick, where's Ja Rule? We need to know what he thinks about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this music note fight is the coolest fucking thing in this movie. Fucking Love it. amazing. Yeah. And uh, sweaty nerds will tell you it's not cool, but guess what? It They're fucking wrong. is because it's different. It's Beethoven versus Bach. It's automatically awesome. <laughs> it's fucking cool. Nathan, as a sweaty nerd, yeah. what do you think? I love it. I'm sweating so hard right now. I okay. love it so yeah. much. Sweaty nerds love this scene. It's official. Uh huh. Mom's like you choose Jif. <laughs> <laughs> It, it gets to the best part for me of this entire franchise. I'm talking mm -hmm. from I the dream walk into zombie strange. God Man. damn it. It's like not only the, the actual part of it, but yeah. then, like I said, my favorite is just these fucking cackling demons. demons. He, I'm like, <laughs> I guess. he builds a cape out of demons. I, there's the part. Best. There's footage from the set of Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell teaching benedict cumberbatch how to move like a deadite like there as if go. there was any doubt that he's fully doing evil ash like yes. it rules and yeah i mean the rigor mortis i mean this 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 corpse is a little too decomposed for one day but <laughs> yeah. you know i i do love that that just that behind the scenes video just implies that bruce campbell was just there oh yeah he hung out the whole time <laughs> yeah oh you know he was there every day yeah. you know he was there every day yeah 
he got nothing else going on. He's like, yeah, sure. Every time I show up, they give me pizza balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's his, that's in his writer. I gotta have those pizza balls. But again, I, I this is the equivalency. Again, you're talking about Wanda trying to pass things off on Strange earlier. He does get to make the same choice that she did, and it's okay. Yep, <laughs> this time. Yep, which is a bummer. <laughs> it's, it's weird, and not for nothing. If I think this is officially where the movie goes Raimi, and it oh, takes yeah. an hour and a half. This third act is so good. It's, I, it's I great. love this. I, I He gives her a pep talk. The shot of him, like the close up of him, dead strange winking. God. <laughs> All of it is so fun. Yeah. As soon as he says, who said anything about being alive or whatever, and then they just cut to that grave uh, and the hand popping out. It's so it's good. It's fucking awesome. With a King Crimson esque guitar sting. Yeah, yep. it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is fucking awesome. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, the cackling demons, I just can't get over it. It's so fucking good. And I love his dead voice. Yep. Like the, the, the gravelly, like very yep. dark man esque. Like, yep. it's, it, this is full Raimi. Yeah. And then him showing up to rescue Wong and then having that glorious fucking shot, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Of him with the multiple arms. Yeah. And then Wanda. Rightfully so, I will say. One of the few things she does right here calls him a hypocrite, yep. and it's it's fucking awesome. Yeah. And this is one of the few times I don't mind the fights in these movies because it's it's something different. Like totally. it is one person shooting energy beams and another person using fucking demon cape. <laughs> it's fucking cool as shit. How do you not like this, you fucking nerds? This is awesome. <laughs> Wong stabs a demon through its head with his like slinger. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, it's so cool. I like the scene whenever Wong like finds whenever. He he realizes like Doctor Strange like the zombie Doctor Strange and he's just like I don't even want to know yep. yeah. like yeah. like don't give me the context I don't care whatever you had to do it's fine oh dude the 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 Strange and Wong dynamic is amazing in this yeah. mm-hmm. like that one when Wong first pops up he's like you know you should bow to the Sorcerer Supreme he's like yeah no I know I should yeah, yeah. I, I know yeah. the customs like it's fucking it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, God, Wong is so fucking good. Love him. Which, I mean, that takes me back to that scene in No Way Home. He's like, wait, you're not the Sorcerer Supreme? He's like, yeah. no, Wong wanted on a fucking technicality. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that scene. That should be a mid credit scene we can see. Why not? Because the, the two in this movie are fucking useless as far as oh, I'm boy. concerned. Well, yeah. So, like, with She-Hulk in mind, mm-hmm. keeping on Wong here, are we confirming that Wong fucks, right? Oh, yeah. Hard. He's got to be slaying. <laughs> he's got to be slaying in that fucking... He's I mean, got to be. He's... The Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. Yeah. If you can make portals, dude, don't worry about it. You're getting laid. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was just making sure we're on the same page. Yeah. I love how horny forward She-Hulk is. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's so fun. It's great. So, it's sad that the most interesting this franchise for me has ever done is this whole Scarlet Witch plot line. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think they stick the landing, but... We're probably never really even going to explore this again, are we? Like, <sighs> after this movie, we're kind of shutting the... Like, is Scarlet Witch dead, is my question. Nope. I don't Scarlet think so. dead. Yeah. But wouldn't that undermine the entire third act of this movie if she's not, mm-hmm. like... And I don't even agree with it, by the way. I should point out, I don't think Wanda... I don't I, I don't think her redemption should be this easy, if I'm being honest. Right. Like, after, after the stuff they've put her through... Yeah. I don't... She, like you said, she, you don't get to become the hero. No, she's got to come back. She's got to come back and, and, and try to turn things around. Yeah. Of course. This needs to be like in those Kang Dynasty movies that she comes back then. Yeah. And like redeems herself. And once again, goes toe to toe with the villain. Because like, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. I I I, don't, I feel like we're gonna have a throwaway line in the next movie of like uh, Wanda sacrificed herself mm-hmm. for the greater good, and then we're moving on. I, I hope f- not. I feel like until until we, I I guarantee you that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm also bummed that we we end this movie with America Chavez finally mastering her powers, and then she uh, still has to go to teleportation school. Mm-hmm. Even though like she should like she can go look for her moms now. Yep, she sure should, and. We're not getting an America Chavez movie, are we? No, probably not. Right? I can't imagine we would. I'd love to see her in one of the in like in like a team movie or something. Because like in the comics, she's like BFFs with uh, with Hawkeye and mm-hmm. like all these other like the Young Avenger, the the West Coast Avengers. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see her pop back up. Do we know how many more movies Cumberbatch is uh, contracted for? No, I don't. Does anyone have that info? I, I'm 
don't imagine you would, but I don't. Hey, let me take some real quick. <laughs> you have them um, under uh, Grenadine Bandersnatch in your phone. <laughs> I have a feeling they're setting her up to eventually step into his shoes when he's done. Like when Wong and and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch are done, she'll fill in as the new hmm. strange person. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. Know. I mean that's that's kind of what they're they're kind of building all that up throughout Phase Four of these like younger versions mm-hmm. of the previous characters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, th- this movie ends, and I have so many questions, not only with the mi- mid credit scene, but just in general. I'm like... <laughs> okay, the actual ending? Yeah. Sam Raimi is fucking, I love it. Yeah. Remind me, I just watched this movie, but remind me again. <laughs> so it literally ends with, like, Strange walking down the street, and then oh, he right. starts screaming, and a third eye opens and cut the yeah. black, and it's fucking rad. And it zooms in like Ash getting rammed at the end of Evil Dead 1. Yeah. And then they completely fuck it up with yeah, the credit scene. Yeah, right? Okay. Same. I have a lot of questions. And number one is, I don't understand. The first one is, what's going on with this third eye? Like, I know what it is, but uh-huh. why does he have it all of a sudden? I guess because he used the dark hold. He's, yeah. he's also caused an incursion, which, uh, you know, should mean Did that he's he? the best. That's what we're told during the mid-credits scene. That, that I don't understand either. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, they need to involve the limit configuration in this one. <laughs> Uh, Pinhead shows up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it got the lament configuration right here. You saw that. <laughs> when the Eternals came out, there was this tweet that went viral where someone said, every mid credit scene now is so lazy to the point where it's a character stepping out of a hallway and saying, it's me, Blorco. Yep. And then the audience goes crazy. Yep. Yep. This is the most it's me, Blorco yeah. credit scene we've ever yeah. got. Well, and I gotta say, Marvel usually nails the costumes, yeah. Yeah. except for this one. It's a bad costume. She looks like a Power Rangers villain. Yeah. Yeah. It's very <laughs> camp. Extremely camp. Like, whenever... Charlie Staring like pops up. I literally felt like I was watching like you remember Entourage and like how they were being like a fake like kind of trailer thing. The Aquaman. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's how that felt. Yeah. It was like a wait, what? One hundred percent. Ivana ooze. No, yeah. That's how it felt. <laughs> it was like, oh man, they got they got their CW show in my Marvel movie. <laughs> it sure fucking does. <laughs> I think and then also I think also is the fact that it was Charlie Staring and it just felt fake. Mm-hmm. It just felt like a It's getting to that point where now Literally, there is no one left that's yeah. not in these movies. Right? Like, it's like, of course, Charlie's there in a show. This up. is the problem the UK ran into with the Harry Potter yeah. movies. Yes. It's like we're out yes. of actors. Damn it! Yes. <laughs> she turns to the cameras, Lady Gaga. It's like what? And she's playing Harley Quinn. <laughs> we just say, fuck it. <laughs> I so this is Mally and I talked about this right after the movie came out. This is great casting, fantastic casting. This is a terrible introduction to Clea. Yes. Uh, and who is she, C- dude? Sh- she's fucking awesome in the comic so uh what's the villain from the first movie Dor- dormammu. dormammu i've come to bargain yeah her his daughter yeah. is that right oh if memory serves? she's she's the end she is basically the sorceress supreme of the dark dimension okay and in the comics now she's taken over steven's job yeah. like they're they become married like she's a huge character they fuck so she's a villain that became a hero sort of yeah okay. but she also she's a character that i feel like should have been introduced four years ago okay. if yeah. we're gonna like really build the Doctor Strange mythos. Like, she should, if, like, she should have been the post-credits of the first Doctor Strange I movie. I totally agree. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm going to avenge my father. Oh! <laughs> Maybe not that exactly. This <laughs> mid-credits credit scene, <laughs> this shit is so fucking lazy, because it's like, he's just walking down the street, there's yeah. nothing interesting happening, she's like, hey, you gotta come with me. Okay. It, it, <laughs> to Mally's point, it fully walks back the terror of that last shot yeah. before the credits. So I don't understand that either. What does th- this third eye actually do? No idea. Okay. Just make, okay. I'm, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything because I know if I get anything wrong, the, the, the MCU guys will come after me. I don't understand. No, <laughs> it's it's just, yeah. Oh, wait, it, are it, me and Nathan the MCU guys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking nerds are going to come after me for not knowing who Clea is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that is a failing of the movie that you have no idea who this is or okay, why. Thank you. Yeah, no, that is fully on the movie. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I have more interest in Pizza Papa stopping the rampage <laughs> I do about this and of course the fourth wall break <laughs> no I was like I, I was talking to my dad about this because he was also hyped to see Black Bolt in this movie and I said yeah but does that mean fucking anything to an audience member nope. I, could, I thought he was made up for the movie I had no idea he was a real guy <laughs> Yeah. I was like, this fish with a tuning wand or whatever the fuck this dude is doing. <laughs> I didn't get it at all. No, I 
I didn't understand. I don't know what this eye does. I don't know what incursion he caused, Right. I guess. And they just kind of uh, haphazardly hop off screen. Yeah, right before it cuts back. It's it's real bad. It's tough. It's, this movie, it's really good when it's good, and it's really bad when it's bad. And Pretty much. It's lazy when it's bad. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. It's it's the formula starting to show. I mean, it has been showing, but man, it's running itself thin at this point. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Like it, the mid credit scenes now are just, hey, I'm X, yeah, and this is Y, and we're now in these movies, yeah. But we probably will have no real significance because I, I like Eternals. I don't give a fuck about Harry Styles being in these <laughs> movies, nor Patton as Oswald. I, I haven't even <laughs> what I haven't seen Eternals. It is this same kind of mid credit scene. Someone I heard, I saw it on YouTube. Someone referred to it as the art house of Marvel movies. <laughs> uh, sh- yeah. I I wouldn't go that far. No. It's a beautifully <laughs> shot movie. Yeah, like it looks really good. It's it's different. It also has a really great third act. Yeah, I it think. does. Like the the last showdown is fantastic, and that cast is incredible yes stacked. the Eternals is much more like let's kind of slow things down a little bit yeah like let's get a little quieter it's the A24 of Marvel yeah. movies but even that one gets a little overstuffed like D- Dane Whitman has nothing to do with the Eternals like all that all the Black Knight stuff is just yeah I don't care I don't give a fuck about the guy from Game Not of Dane, Thrones yeah. sorry what's his name care. Kit Harrington. yeah no. oh but John there is a mid credit scene with that one if I'm not mistaken that does technically introduce blade yeah i know yeah. i saw that i saw that but no i i like eternals i do think that one of the final shots of that movie has got to be like if i was a person living on earth i think i would drop dead from having a heart attack <laughs> uh, literally a fucking celestial being yeah appears out of the clouds well my biggest issue with eternals is that there's a there's there's a celestial sticking out of the ocean and we just haven't addressed that nope, yet. Not at all. There's a there's a joke about it on She-Hulk, is there? actually. Oh, which okay. There is a joke about it in She-Hulk. She's like scrolling through a news site and one of the headlines is like, so what's the deal with the hand in the Atlantic yeah. Ocean? <laughs> yeah, by the, it, it's not really a spoiler, but yeah, the third act of that movie, it's like, well, now Earth just has like... Earth is an egg? Yeah. <laughs> Earth, we're in trouble. Earth just has this like, <laughs> multiply the Eiffel Tower by about 100,000 uh-huh. times and now that's just sticking out of it. Yep. <laughs> and that's that's the end of that movie. So uh but at the end of this movie, yeah, it's I I don't care. I don't <laughs> care what incursion he caused. I don't care what this third eye does. Because I'm sure it's not gonna be that relevant going forward. Like it's yeah. not gonna be something he has to struggle with. Incursions in themselves, very much so. Sure. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm mostly talking about the third eye and Charlie Theron. That specific one, maybe not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be played for comedy. Incursions yeah. are gonna gonna play a big part in the in Secret War. Yeah. yeah, which just got pushed. Oh yeah. Ugh. I God, I don't know how I feel. I mean, it doesn't matter because who the fuck cares about what I think. But I I don't know how I feel about them. Just here's thirty titles coming over the next three years. Mm-hmm. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I, it'd be nice to know they've been doing that for years. I know, but I didn't like it then either. I'm just like, God damn it, I'm exhausted. Right, it's appointment <laughs> television. It, it is. It's like. <laughs> Oh, you missed it? Oh well. I mean, like they got their hitter they got their hit or misses. Yeah. Like I mean like like all right, I'll say this, like Thor Love and Thunder, worst movie in the phase. It's it's not great. Yeah. It's not great. It's it's a rough set. But we got like some little nuggets there and there. Like I just saw um Werewolf by Night yeah. fully like yesterday. It's so good. So freaking good. It's very fun. fun. Fucking awesome. It's pretty fun. And like She Hulk is like you know, uh, uh, here and there, and, and blah blah blah, and then um, yeah, I mean, Doctor Strange is like one of those like good ones. WandaVision was like a good sort of like show. Yeah, it is very hit or miss. There's very rarely something that's just dead in the middle. I I hated the finale of WandaVision. Yeah, yeah, it, because it became every other thing else in the MCU yeah. instead of doing its own unique thing. Right. Hawkeye ended up being much better than it should have been. Okay, yeah, it's uneven, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Eh. Yeah, I think this movie for me is in the top half, and for me, the absolute bottom might be that second Ant Man movie. Oh, really? I was bored to tears during that movie. I had a lot of fun with that one, but I haven't seen it since the theater. I haven't seen it in a while either. It's fine. It's not bottom of the list for me, but it's not 
anywhere near the top. Right. Very psyched for the third one. Yeah. And I don't like Iron Man three at all. Oh, really? No. Wow. But I haven't. I haven't finished it. I just didn't care for it. Interesting. And I like Shane Black a lot. Yeah. Um. But I. I really hate Love and Thunder. Like yeah. I hate that. Like I. I really do not like that movie. Love and Thunder had some pretty funny moments. It's pretty good scenes. But yeah. It. It. it well, the the thing with that one is it does the thing that this one does but multiply it by 10 is it undercuts all of its heavier moments with jokes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, she's got cancer and she's making stage four cancer. And she's like, oh, how many stages are there? Four. There's four fucking stages. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Yeah, that, that movie is hit or miss too, much more than this one. But mm-hmm. that movie also should have just been called Thor Guns and Roses because <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Pool. Um, I wouldn't have been mad with that title. That's great. I wouldn't have either. I like Guns N' Roses, but that movie is wall to wall Guns N' Roses. Thor, Mr. Brownstone. <laughs> Were you just mad that it was mainly Appetite for Destruction? They didn't rock any Chinese democracy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm okay. All of those are like better titles than Love and Thunder. It's like, like use your illusion. <laughs> after Endgame, I'm not expecting the next Thor movie to be called like Love and Thunder. I don't know. I kind of like the title, but I yeah. actually like the title. I did. <laughs> yeah. I did not like the the title at all. I was like, I, I think the movie, it's yeah, the movie is very uneven, but that's okay. I mean, you make 40 of these movies or whatever in 15 TV shows, some of them are going to be bad. Like, it's just <laughs> right, it's just what you and you're still going to make hundreds of millions of dollars. Don't worry about it. Like, we've probably done at least one bad episode of this podcast, right? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'll have to go back in the record books and look. <laughs> one, no, I think just one, mm. maybe eight, yeah, <laughs> maybe eight, maybe eight. Uh, a season times three. <laughs> Eight for two months. <laughs> All right, well, fellas, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we get into the wrap-up stuff here? Nah. No, nah, we're good? It's me, Blorco. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into Prop Cop. Which, uh, if you're just finding us, you know, uh, on your feed because you like Doctor Strange or whatever, <laughs> uh, Prop Cop is a segment where we look at all of the props in the movie Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and we decide to cop one for ourselves, hence the name. Mm-hmm. Um, Nathan, how about we start with you? Or mm. actually, I take it back. All right. Sit down. <laughs> Mally. Get fucked, Nathan. <laughs> this is your pick, and you haven't been here in a while. I will give you first pass. What do you want to take from this movie? Professor X's wheelchair. Nice. Uh, his hover round. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right. It's very big. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's it's yellow too, right? It's the classic mm-hmm. yellow. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Why not? All right. Uh John, you're our guest. Is there a prop from this movie that you'd like to keep? Oh my god. Come back to me okay. like last. Nathan, what about you? I want a sling ring. I just okay. think they look so cool, even if it's not functional. <laughs> you could probably get one of those from like Hot Topic or something, dude. All right. I got I got to go. <laughs> yeah, you st- Nathan, you still got that Hot Topic hookup or what's up? <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, my discount's long gone. Uh, I want one of those pizza balls just cuz I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they do look good. Not bad. I mean, I tr- it's- I'd try it with mustard. I'm uh, definitely going to clog my arteries, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, John, have you thought about one? We can stall a little bit longer if need be. <laughs> for the sake, because I wasn't ready for this, uh, for the sake of just saying something, I guess, uh, what is the, you got the piece of balls, like, man, that, that was, that's a good one. Hey, there's more than one in that bowl. You can totally have one. I'll, I'll, I can share. <laughs> or you know what? You take, you take that. No, no. You know what I want? I want the, whatever device it, whatever device they were, uh, that they stepped on to look at their past, like shit. The memory lane thing? The memory that's lane. Pretty, that'd be, thing. That thing's functional. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Just do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, that's, that's not bad at all. Okay. Well, how about bit part, which is, and this might be a little bit difficult because most of these characters have names. <laughs> we look at all of the extras. Nah, I got one locked in. Me too. All right. We've got all of these extras in this movie, all of these no-name characters that have brief little screen time. Who's a character that you would like to play in the movie? Uh, Nathan, how about we start with you? I want to be the British sorcerer who shows up okay. to help at Comertage, who's like, we're here to help the sorcerer supreme. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Bally? I want to be the dude sitting next to Strange at the wedding that very obviously gets up solely to make room for the other doctor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah yep. he does. He does. He's like, oh, I'm in your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Christopher Nolan's here. I'd better move. <laughs> um, I've got two, but I'm going to save one uh, in case you can't think of one, Hazard. I got a backup for you. Don't worry about it. But 
I'm I'm gonna actually going to go with a voice acting role mm. uh, instead of someone who's on screen. I just want to be one of the demons <laughs> surrounding uh, Zombie Doctor Strange. I just want to be cackling at the VO booth. That's all I want. <laughs> this is forbidden. Mm-hmm. What about you, John? I want to be the key grip for <laughs> uh, the scene where uh, John Krasinski was shooting the Mr. Fantastic. I just want to be the key grip. Okay. This, I think this is our first crew bit part. <laughs> I just want to be the key grip. That's good. Just, that's it. That's it. All right. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. The one I had saved, just in case someone needed one, was going to be the guy that Wanda speaks in his ear and tells him to run. Oh, yeah. Because you get to be right there next yeah, to Elizabeth wanna- Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> Is Josh Groban looking ass? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, how great would it be for Elizabeth Olsen to whisper anything in your ear? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> run. <Yeah. laughs> All right, fellas, uh, the reason for the season is Silver Linings time. Mm -hmm. Who would like to volunteer and give us a silver lining to this very uh, shock and awe ending of Doctor Strange 2? Mine's very obvious, so I'll go last. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and go and say uh, the punching stopped after all for Pizza (laughs) Papa. (laughs) It's over. He's finally rid. (laughs) All right, Nathan. Uh, America finally mastered her yeah. powers. Yeah, I had that one in there too. Uh, John, do you have a silver lining for this movie? I do. Okay. And it's, it's that uh, we got another Sam Raimi movie. Hey. <laughs> yes. I'm loving these meta answers to these questions, by the way. This is great. Like it. <laughs> it may not and it may not be like, you know, like an original work from him, mm-hmm. but like I, I it, it was cool to see his name, mm-hmm. you know, in the theaters and stuff like that. Like, hell yeah, hell yeah. And when his style shines through, it is obvious and so exciting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's the best parts of the movie. Yeah. If anything, like that was the main driver for this movie for me yeah. was that I mean I was gonna watch this movie anyway but it was like but the fact that Sam Raimi was attached to it made a big difference mm-hmm. totally I will say that's a good point that most of the reason I was excited about this movie was because Sam Raimi's name was attached to it mm-hmm. and I hate myself for it, but if anybody else's name was on it, I probably still would have watched it because I'm a fucking <laughs> slave to this shit now. But I wouldn't have been like quick to watch it, I guess. No, like, no, no. I don't you know what I mean. Like It was like Thor Love and Thunder for me. I was like, I'll see it eventually. It's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, all right, Mally, what's your silver lining? Wanda's kids are still technically dead. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Could they be dead if they were never technically alive? Right. Exactly. Yeah, there for, well, I had a backup one too related to kids uh-huh. and it's kind of macabre, but uh, Mr. Fantastic's kids will still have a mother to raise them. <laughs> so there's that. No, I think that's fine. This movie doesn't, I mean, it ends with like a crazy what the fuck ending, but it's, yeah. you know, things are all resolved. I think the saddest part for me is fucking Wanda's dead. Like, Scarlet Witch, sure. Ish. She sh- well, ish. Dead yeah. ish. Yeah, yeah. With a tilde. I don't see a body. Yeah. <laughs> With a tilde attached to that, man. Yeah. An asterisk. Okay. Well, how about this? Maybe you are one of those uh, sweaty nerds we have talked about that is just very upset that uh, your beloved Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, is dead mm. or that Doctor Strange didn't technically get the girl and also has this fucking creepy third eye in his forehead. Maybe you're just like, guys, I need something else to pick me back up. This was a downer. Sure. How about a double feature? Something we pair it with them. Um, like a fine wine to a good meal. <laughs> Mally, you have, you've been away for a while. Why don't we start with you? What's a pick me up for Doctor Strange 2? I mean, it's, it's hot off the press. Werewolf by night. Yeah. Okay. It's a fun little 60 minutes, I will say. 40. Eight with credits. <laughs> oh, I mean, I god damn it, I want to hang out with Ted so bad. Ted's cool. Ted's great. Not the stuffed animal that uh is voiced by Seth MacFarlane, right? No. The, one t- the one from Werewolf by Night. Fucking man thing. Got I want to hang out with fucking man thing. Got it. Okay. I think unfortunately Nathan's the closest I will ever get. <laughs> but fine. Nathan, what about you? What's your pick me up? Uh I went with a movie from nineteen ninety eight, a romantic comedy that also kind of involves the multiverse. Uh sliding doors. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> Deep cut. All right. Deep cut. Mm, right. Uh, John, what about you? Uh, House. MD. <laughs> okay. The 1977. Uh, yeah. That one. Oh, oh. hell yes. Because that one is just so batshit crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's what I got. All right. Honestly, I got a second one. If you want to see Elizabeth Olsen just be awesome in another movie, mm-hmm. oh, Martha boy. Marcy oh. May Marlene. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good call. The movie's fucking great. Cult shit. And if you want to watch uh, Thanos rail the 
Scarlet Witch, watch Jesus. the old one. <laughs> Don't. Anyway. Don't. Mm. Um, I went with Jet Lee's The One. No, no, no. <laughs> I went with... <laughs> I didn't pick that because I thought you would. <laughs> no. I went with... Uh, it's it's an obvious one, but there's another... Austin Powers and Gold Member. <laughs> oh. There is another, and for me, way better multiverse shenanigans movie that was released this Doctor year. Doctor Strange and the Army of Darkness. <laughs> I went with one of my favorite movies of the year, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Good call. Yeah. It does this movie better. Hell yeah. Like a, a thousand and on like a tenth of the budget. It's nuts. Benedict Cumberbatch and Everything Everywhere All at Once. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually wrote this down too. Have you guys seen what's on Sam Raimi's uh, coming up for one of his movies, another movie he's doing soon? It's a movie called World War Three. Oh. And it's exactly what you think it's about. It's an examination of what the world might look like in the future of the 21st century after World War. And I'm like, if Sam Raimi's doing that, I'm fucking in. Yeah. That's awesome. No oh, kidding. Yeah. It's going to be dope as shit. Oh, yeah. And of course, I'll plug that what if episode of Doctor Strange just because it's the coolest fucking thing in that whole series. And if you want to watch the best mo- movie Marvel has done about the multiverse so far, go watch Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right. Yes, for sure. Um. Well, lastly, but not leastly, do we recommend Doctor Strange 2? I think we've kind of already discussed it. Sure. Yeah. I feel like that's me too. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're into these movies and you're caught up, I would say yes. I I think it's a little bit more of a difficult buy-in, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I, I have fun watching Honestly, it. Honestly, if you've never seen a Marvel movie, jump right into this one. Can you imagine? Yeah, you won't be lost at all. <laughs> it's one. Yeah, I said it. It's one of the better movies in this current phase. Did I tell y'all when I saw Infinity War, the the guy behind me, the first time Tony Stark walks on screen guy behind me leans over to his girlfriend and goes, that's Tony Stark. Yeah. He's Iron Man in these movies. Whoa. Yeah, these, these movies. movies. <laughs> a friend of mine and former guest. Um, Jenny? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> if memory, I believe it was her, saw Infinity War and I was texting. I was like, oh, what'd you think? She's like, eh. I didn't like it. I was like, really? She's like, yeah. Well, I haven't seen any of the movies before it. I'm like, oh, wow. Well, Jeez. D- no shit. The <laughs> headache she must have endured. Oh, my God. Man. I can't imagine. I would wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah. If, if Jenny, if that wasn't you, I apologize, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was you. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the cooler MCU movies because um, it lets the director kind of do what their own thing. And it does take some big swings. It does, but not to the detriment, I think, of just... And as much as I like him, just unleashing Taika Waititi, like, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it does it better than Thor Love and Thunder does. That's for sure. And mm-hmm. for me, other than that fan servicey middle part, I think it's a solid watch. Mm-hmm. I don't think you'll be lost if you haven't seen all of these movies like I have or TV shows like I haven't. <laughs> and somehow more bloodshed in this movie than either Infinity War or Endgame, mm-hmm. which is a fault to me. <laughs> you put the word war in the title. I, I want to see some goddamn blood. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. Doctor Strange 2, it's fine. Uh, 74%, I think, is perfectly adequate score for this movie. Yeah. Um, Well, if you want to fucking tell me how wrong I am, (laughs) or you want to voice your support as well for how we feel about Doctor Strange 2, you can email us at the Seven Linings Playlist at gmail.com. You can DM us over on Instagram or Twitter, where we post every single day that we're active during a season. Mm -hmm. Uh, And you can also go to our subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash Silver Linings Playlist. Uh, And if you haven't already, of course, please subscribe, rate, leave feedback, all that good stuff. Um, We're still very early on in the season. There's a ton more to come, including what we're going to be talking about next week, Mm -hmm. which is Nathan's Choice. Yeah. And you threw a curveball for us because there was something on the docket here before, and we're doing something totally different. Yep. And boy, we, we I have- always love these hints because I don't know what the fuck we're doing next week either. <laughs> you will know. I promise you, you will know. But also, well, this is going to be interesting because we don't do this genre of movie very often. Sure. And it's one we have secretly talked about doing off the air a lot. Mm-hmm. So why don't you give us a clue for what we're talking about next week? Oh, uh, this isn't helping me at all. Well, I, I would give you a clue, but you don't want none of that shit. <laughs> I don't want no part of your clue for next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's right all right well you know before we do next week i have to think about my entire life before we press the record <laughs> <laughs> look out man <laughs> mally do you have any idea now what we're doing <laughs> <There you go. laughs> look out, man. <laughs> well john thank you for coming back and we finally got all four of us on one episode i think we talked about doing this 
back in season one at one point having you on with Mally as well. So we we finally did it. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> the fuck is John? <laughs> <laughs> we can finally announce that we're playing the Fantastic Four in the MCU. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, okay. Oh boy, now we're gonna do it. We have to do it. Who's who? Um, <laughs> oh god, Nathan's the Invisible Woman. Thank you. I was gonna, I was gonna say I wanted to be the Invisible. Woman. <laughs> oh motherfucker, you the thing. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take the thing. All right. Well, I'm not even gonna ask who's who on the other two, but you know, you know, you yeah, we all know. <laughs> you know. Okay. Fuck Mary. Yeah. Kill- <laughs> <laughs> John is definitely Mister Fantastic, Mally. You're definitely on fire with all your anger. Oh uh, yeah. You're Lewis Black and in inside. <laughs> inside. No, no. Thanks, thanks for having me again. Yeah, man. absolutely. This was a blast. This dude. is always fun. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this movie. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Recipes oatmeal. And I guess uh, all the Mr. Richards, Mm -hmm. uh, the kids, everyone else that fucking died in this movie. And as always, Excelsior. It it counts for this one. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. See you next time, true believers. Oh, God. (laughs) Let's cut to Stan the Man saying it himself. Excelsior. 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 Look it up. Jesus Christ, that was a long one. Uh, Anyway, if you're still here, thanks for listening. And remember, you can always check out our back catalog for over 100 episodes of the show. Like, subscribe, and leave feedback if you want. And tune in next week for another one. Laters.